the Indian agriculture is at a very interesting crossroads right now where on one hand we have lots of very interesting uh, success stories of how the production generally especially in staple crops in the country went up and at the same time we also have some very interesting emerging stories of how the agriculture system is is in some sense transforming by diversifying itself more by adding horticulture sector for example by livestock stock becoming very important for the smallholder farmers and so forth. So it's a very interesting mix. But one thing that has consistently remained uh, a, a, in some sense a challenge is the India's uh, extension system. We have not been able to really reach out to a very, very large number of farmers and lack of extension, lack of extension infrastructure uh, has, uh, has been one of the biggest uh, factor of the productivity gaps in the country um, and therefore innovations in extension has been something that uh, that has huge receptivity and huge appetite among uh, among the farmers and and generally for the system how do you use India's new ICT revolution where on one hand we say that only about 40% of the farmers ha have access to some kind of an extension system and on the other hand we also say that close to 80-85% of the farming household have uh, access to a cell phone. How do you bridge that and how do you bring in some of that ICT revolution uh, to, to sort of bridge some of the big gaps in extension and I think digital green and and the various technologies that it brought to to India has uh, has really addressed this challenge extremely well and we as the foundation have been very very proud to be associated with digital green uh, since many years our uh, initial investment in Bihar with digital green started from 2012 and we have consistently seen progress in not only the number of farmers reached by various technologies but what to me is intriguing is the two-way arrow that it establishes. In a very traditional extension system, it is often a one-way arrow where you know, a scientist has an information, the KVK or the extension um, um, force has an information, they reach out to the farmer with that. Whereas Digital Green brought in a very interesting arrow the other way around, where they they, they brought in farmer's information also to the scientist. So I, I, I you know, it's a, it's a very interesting feed, uh, feedback loop. It's a very interesting way of doing very, very need-based uh, extension and not just a very top-down extension and I think that is a fundamental reason why uh, digital green became very popular among the farmers. I've met farmers in, in places like Bihar, in Jharkhand, uh, who, who talks about the Pico, who are fascinated about, uh, about how, uh, you know, they, they had an opportunity to, to be extension workers, share their experience. And so, so I think that is, that is really, really fantastic. What actually adds to the value of those technologies that we've been investing in through Digital Green, of course, is its collaboration with, uh, with I personally think one of the one of the very 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 interesting models of rural development which is Jivika uh, and and using Jivika platform or using using SRLM platform as a very interesting scaling up partner you know you are reaching out to 12,000 farmer 15,000 farmers through uh, XYZ technology but just by having um, an, an, an scale up partner like Jivika you are very efficiently taking it to an extremely larger scale and 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 really multiplying the impact of your program and that to me is the biggest value um, as the foundation we have been really giving a lot of trust to mainstreaming of some of these technologies working with the government with these technologies rather than working for the government and the digital green jivika collaboration in uh, that sense is uh, is something we are very very proud of i i wish i could be there in bihar uh, at this event uh, but i want to really uh, you know uh, send my deep appreciation for the uh, for the livelihoods work and for reaching out to the farmers with uh, 
what uh, they see as a as a very critical need in agriculture today so congratulations to of course uh, jivika congratulations to uh, digital green um, and uh, we look forward to multiplier effect of this not just in bihar not just for uh, some of the sector that still remain uh, slightly less uh, touched such as the livestock sector, such as the aquaculture sector, uh, such as the women farmers. Uh, um, but we also would like to see a similar partnership in many more states across India and many more countries across uh, developing world. Thank you.